Well, hello everyone. It's Kelly, and I thought I'd do kind of a harvest video. We've been harvesting tomatoes for a long time, but <laughs> I'm getting a lot of tomatoes. Um, those are Roma type tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. And then, of course, zucchini and yellow squash. Uh, a couple of Marconi peppers and my first cucumber. So that's what's going on on the harvest front. Um, <clears throat> looks pretty good. It's going to last a while. And we got plenty more to come. So, anyway, just real quickly, got a. I want to talk about the flowers and the roses. They're doing quite well. I put these in on Mother's Day and all the flowers are doing well. As you can see, got this little lone patio tomato that has its first little red one coming in right there, which is kind of nice. Uh, this rose had tons of blooms. I cut it back, cut them off, and then so we've got the last few up there and then uh, but it's got some more blooms coming out. This one here is kind of petered out, but it's got more blooms coming. It just takes time. Then I've got uh, basil there and over there. More flowers. And basil. And some more basil. We go through a lot of basil. <laughs> um, took my lettuce out. Lettuce was there. It finally went to seed. Decided to take it out. What's left of it's back there in the com compost pile, along with the broccoli, which was there, which is now, I put in a couple of more tomato plants like I'm going to need them, but I took some uh, uh, suckers off some plants that I had and planted them here. I've got a sweet 100 there, just put it in a couple of days ago. Um, jelly bean hybrids right there and right there. Here's uh, peppers. We've got definitely good peppers coming up now and jalapenos like crazy coming in as you can see. Lots of jalapenos. There's some more back in there. And then some more peppers. Got some big peppers coming in all over there. So they're finally finally taking off. It's taken a while. Uh, tomatoes. Well, here's where all the tomatoes came from, at least the cherries. I mean, there's still tons. I just took off the reddest ones, and as you can see, there's going to be plenty more where that came from. And I'm just going to kind of pan through here, and you can see what's going on on my tomatoes. So, it's doing quite well. Pretty happy. Um, these things just have taken off. I mean, just crazy. But, there you go. Kind of an idea of what's going on in the old tomatoes there on the cherry tomatoes. Uh, here's early girls. I've got my first red early girl, which is not so early, but I've got lots of them coming in, finally. It's been pretty cool here in Napa, so it's, you know, they're, they've, the, plants are flourishing, it's just they're a little slow as far as producing uh, tomatoes, at least the bigger tomatoes. See there's some more there. Early girls. Here's some that I want to talk about real quickly. These are um, Juliet's and there's a few on here that weren't quite red enough to pull off. There's some in there. Huge cluster right there and right in here and right there and right there <laughs> and right there and way up here and there and there but here's what I want to talk about. I've got two of these plants right here side by side. One came from the other but see how these leaders have gone way up into this tree here? There's some right there gone like that. Hopefully I'm not moving the camera too fast but there's some more right there and there. Let me pan back. 
there's the tomatoes, there's the tree, and it's growing above the privacy fence. And I want to show you something right here. That is a tomato. <laughs> they're growing up into this thing, and they're already nearly as tall, or, well, I'm, I'm standing back here, and this has got to be 15 feet to that point right there. Let me go in right there. And if you get close enough to it, there's tomatoes coming in. So that's the biggest plants I've ever grown, and they are just going crazy. Anyway, pretty crazy. Uh, Drusba. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the celebrities. The celebrities are coming in. There's just tons of growth since my last video, and i got to hurry up here so I don't run out of time. But anyway, lots going on. The Drusbas are huge back in here. They're starting to turn a little yellowish. There's one that's getting ready to go. And right in there, and the big cluster there. These are all Drusbas hybrids. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. They're uh, heirlooms. Some more there. And then if you look over here, we have big beefs are coming in. They're coming in all over the place, too. And these are super steaks. So, I am going to be living in tomatoes, which is pretty exciting. This thing has got growth all over it. And there's one big one right back in there. So, anyway, that's the tomatoes. Hopefully you got enough of the view there. Lots of good things happening. Here is the uh, uh, beans, which have grown substantially since my last video. They haven't st started to actually have beans on them yet, but they're getting big. And I just put this little trellis up here, just made a wire. I just picked that up off Craigslist for free. So doing well. Uh, real quickly, I've got strawberries. They're still just, the leaders are coming out like crazy. They're just sprawling. If you could see, you know, I mean, I could, they're just spidering everywhere, which is what I want. Uh, these are zucchinis, which you've seen what I harvested today, but really, really big plants. And it's still got a lot of growth see we've got more coming which is pretty nice then yellow squash you know we've got more coming in here there so we've got more coming there both these yellow squashes here and then I've got some more peppers coming in right there as you can see right there and then right over here. So both of those are yellows, yellow peppers. This is a Sweet 100, which is where I got the sucker off that one that I planted that I told you about earlier. It's doing well. And then a Mr. Stripey, which I planted from a sucker, but I lost the mother plant because it fell over from the weight before I got a chance to tie it up. So I'm glad I did it. And uh, okra. Okra is coming up quite nicely as you can see. A little behind because we haven't really had that hot of weather. Here's uh, my cucumber plants, a little yellow, and I think maybe I'm watering too much, but they're still growing. I mean, i got cucumbers coming in there, and I pulled that one off, but i got another one here. And they're coming in just a little slow, a little yellow. <clears throat> and then finally, I have uh, cantaloupes, and i got cantaloupes coming in, right there, right there, and if I pan back, you can see I'm going to grow them up this trellis, and as they grow, and they, the fruit starts getting bigger, I'm just going to put a plank in here across, and just put the fruit on top, so that they don't weight down and break off the vine, and I'll have a video about that, so anyway, I'll keep you posted, but there's tons of those coming in, there's probably 10 or 12 on there, okay, that's my update. Sorry it's been so long, but I've just been really busy. I'll give you a quick pan around the yard. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.